What's going on guys? My name is Connor Blackman and I'm a personal trainer and today I'm going to be sharing with you an awesome recipe that's super low in fat, high in protein, and it tastes so awesome you're not going to believe it's healthy. Let's get started. Next we're going to go ahead and get the zucchini ready. So the first thing you want to do here is chop off the ends. On each zucchini, today I'm only using two. And then you want to carve out a little boat in the zucchini. That's where we're going to be stuffing the chicken in. A little bit of a fail there, so just be careful because it's so easy to happen. So now once you've chopped out a little piece, you're going to take a spoon and carve out the insides. So that way it's deeper because with this right here, we're not going to be able to fit a whole lot of chicken sausage into it. So there we have it, our little boats. We're just gonna set those to the side for now. All we're gonna do with the larger pieces that we cut out, we're gonna chop them up into little tiny, basically dice it, I guess would be the word. Now I'm about to do the other one in a second. But this pan's already heated up pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, right here I have sweet Italian chicken sausage. I'm gonna take two links out and uh, throw those on the skillet. Guys, and about five minutes later, other than just finished free feeding, this is already starting to get cooked up pretty good. I'm gonna add in some minced garlic, a tablespoon right there. And then I'll go ahead and add some of the zucchini in. Also, another thing I meant to add was some uh, red hot buffalo sauce. Guys, this is a great thing to add. It doesn't add any calories, so if you love spicy things, add as much as you want. I'm just going to add a little bit. And the same brand of chicken sausage I bought, they actually have a buffalo style of chicken sausage, and it's really good. They're out of it when I went to the store. So you should definitely try that. Alright guys, so total cook time so far has been 10 minutes. I cooked the chicken sausage by itself while breaking it apart for 5 minutes. Then after I added the zucchini and garlic, I did another 5 minutes. So this is pretty done. We're going to go ahead and uh, take it out and put it into a bowl so we can add some other things. Okay guys, so I just had a super duper blonde moment and I was talking to the camera, explaining how to do things and I forgot to press record. So that sucks, but all we did here 
was mix in some goat cheese, about one ounce and a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And that's it, nothing else has changed. Mix it all together really well. So what we're gonna do here is take whatever pan you're gonna be cooking your zucchini on, cover it in tinfoil, and then put your zucchini boats on the tinfoil. And we're gonna stuff them the best we can. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to fit too much more in there, but it still looks great. Um, here's what we have left over. So we for sure could have needed a, uh, a third zucchini, but it's okay. I'm gonna throw these guys in the oven for 10 minutes and then take them out and then I'm gonna freaking devour them. And I'm probably about to eat all this right now, so rip. Guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest here. This is some of the best stuff I've ever made in my life. Yeah, I know I'm gonna say anything I make is good, but this is this is the real deal. Anyways, don't judge me. Those are in the oven. In 10 minutes, I'm gonna take them out and then RIP to those zucchini boats. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Check her out. All right guys, so I previewed the oven at 10.35 and it's now 11.09. So that took about 34 minutes to do and it's totally worth it. It's so easy, I can do it. So share this video with a friend that you think might enjoy this and comment below and tell me how much you loved it. Cause I know you will. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. I'll see you guys next time.